Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is going to be for the week of September 30th through October 6th. I'm going to take a look at the weekly energies to see, you know, which days are better for this or which days are better for that. So this isn't sp sign specific, so it's not like per like zodiac, it's just a general read. Um, some of the messages may or may not resonate take what resonates leave what doesn't so typically I start off with a channel message from spirit but this time it was a little different um, I came across this video and it was talking about mantras and meditating and creating your outer your inner world to change your outer world and I wanted to come up with the abundance challenge. So if, if you can think of a mantra of your own, then you can. But if you don't have any in mind, um, just use the one, I am abundant. So the challenges for this week, for September 30th through the October 6th, is the abundant challenge. So when you wake up in the morning, when you brush your teeth, when you put your shoes on, when you're walking out the house, when you're driving, to work you need to repeat I am abundant I am abundant I am abundant you should say it so many times throughout the day that it becomes almost like like a meditation or I don't want to say put you in a trance state but it's just something that you consciously say because then you're changing your outer world and with receiving abundance I mean abundance can be anything it could be love it could be a relationship, it can be money, it could be security, it could be health. So, you know, if you have something very specific, then you can use that. But stick to that one mantra every day, multiple times throughout the day. You know, when you're brushing your teeth at night, when you're, before you're going, laying down to go to sleep, um, you should be able to say it more than a hundred times in a day and just see how it changes your life within that week you should see amazing amazing challenges so um, my Instagram is linked below um, and comment below let me know how these energies pan out and how the abundance challenge works all right so let's see how the cards the messages are for the week of September 30th to October 6th all right so this will be for Monday's energy Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and this will be Saturday and Sunday energy right there. And then I'll pull some clarifying cards with it. September 30th through October 6th. what we got all right so first look at the overall energy we have the lovers card so this is a very beautiful energy so overall this week could be it could be about relationships if you are in a relationship you could be strengthening those relationships it could be platonic it could be a relationship um, like a like a, a husband or a wife it could be work relationships or it can be like you and your higher self like you going to the next level 
some type of spiritual awakening. And then to clarify that, we have the Queen of Wands. So with the Queen of Wands and the Lover's card, I mean, that speaks about just being in your power, being in your element. Um, both of these both of these energies are very are very passionate, very creative, very loving, you know, so maybe this week for some of you, um, maybe self-care is really important. Um, I, I spoke about the abundance challenge, you know, maybe some of you need to say a mantra of I am loved, I am loved, I am loved. It'll look different for everybody, but it's a very creative, very passionate uh, week that we're going to have. So we're starting October off very, very well. So let me get one of these Law of Attraction cards. Okay, so we have good fortune. The universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. So very beautiful energy. And then we'll get one angel answers card. And then the answer is yes. So let's see what the cards say. And we'll see how this, you know, resonates with the cards, resonate with your week. If you were looking for a yes or a no answer, um, looks like the angel answers card have answered. So let's take a look at Monday. Monday, we start off with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. Um, so with the Ace of Cups, this speaks about some type of new beginning, some type of emotional fulfillment. You know, this cup is running over very beautiful energy especially with this lover's energy um someone for some of you that are single that are looking for a relationship um this could be an offer you know maybe somebody's offering you um to move up to the next level in your relationship maybe someone's gonna ask you on a date um some type of offer is gonna come in and you know at first you know you may not be interested like eh, i'm not really interested but, you know, whenever I get the four cups coming up, I always say, make sure you take a second glance at it because it is a blessing from the universe. It's like a blessing in disguise. Um, and even if it's not a date or an offer or anything like that of love, it's some type of fulfillment that's going to come in, some beautiful new beginning from the universe. So, like I said, if we if you see any offers this week, especially Monday, um, whether it's in regards to work um, some type of financial offer. It's something that's going to give you some type of emotional fulfillment, um, something that's going to fill up your cup. Make sure you take a second glance at it because like I said, it is a blessing in disguise. So Tuesday's energy, we have the seven of cups and the knight of wands. So with this energy, knight of wands is all about rushing in very, um, fiery energy, very passionate energy, very creative energy. There, there's a lot of creativity this week, starting off this um, October. Um, October is all about movement and progression. And the Seven of Cups is um, multiple options. You know, which one, which one do you pick? So this is very beautiful energy. The only thing I would say with this energy the knight of wands it is a fast moving energy so whatever options that you have just make sure that you take you know um a really good look at each of them so that you're not just rushing in and picking something and you know just not getting the full detail of the you know the offer in the cup so wednesday's energy you obviously you receive a message so this is the page of cups and the high priestess so you're not gonna have any problems with this 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 fast-moving energy in the in the seven of cups because you know with the high priestess here you are going to be listening to your intuition um, with the page of cups the page of cups he 
he or she holds his cards to his chest. Like, you know, there's something that you know, you're in some type of knowing and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have a little bit of discretion. Maybe you're not gonna tell everybody, you're gonna kinda keep it to yourself, but it is a beautiful uh, cup of um, just emotional fulfillment. You know, it could be like if, if it is in regards to love, it could be a significant other like that person coming in and maybe you really took a look at it and you're like, OK, this this seems like a good opportunity or um, a good partner or someone I would like to date or get to know. Um, but maybe you're just not telling everybody. So then this is Thursday's energy. You have the four of Pentacles and the nine of wands. So with this energy, the Nine of Wands is all about self-preservation. Um, you know, with these Nine of Wands, you know, it doesn't, it, it might have took this person a long time to even get to this point. You know, he's almost at a completion. He is exhausted. Um, you know, maybe Thursday you're going to be looking at your you know your financial stability maybe it is a little shaky but you're really pushing through and you're not giving up if your goal is financial stability then you're gonna push through and you're gonna make that happen or if it is in regards to a relationship um, you are gonna push through and you're gonna make sure that the, the relationship is stable you're not gonna give up on that relationship on that job offer you know on that financial opportunity and Friday, Friday we have the Nine of Wands again. So we have the Nine of Wands and we have the Five of Pentacles. So with this energy, you know, on Friday, you know, you could be feeling a little bit of lack, a little bit of feeling left out in the cold. Something may have been disappointing to you. Um, sometimes this card speaks to me about uh, lacking patience, you know, because you could tell she's looking down and she doesn't even see the, the five pinnacles behind her, her blessings behind her. Um, so with this nine of, one, the nine of one energy, it's really telling me Thursday and Friday, you know, don't be impatient. Um, work on your inner world and not your outer world. Go within, say those mantras. I am abundant. I am abundant. I am loved. I am loved. Um, really push through because you're literally right there. You're one wand away from your goal, your success, your relationship. And then Saturday, Sunday energy, we have the four of cups and we have the six of cups. So there's, you know, this week, there's gonna be a lot of emotions, a lot of emotions, but I'm not too concerned because you do have the high priestess here. So all this week, I feel like you are going to be grounded a um, little shaky on Thursday and Friday because of the nine of wands, but you're not giving up. So I'm not worried about it. So again, with the four of cups, you know, some of you out there that are single, maybe you are receiving multiple offers. Maybe this person is, you know, um, like a love interest isn't giving up either. Maybe you decline them and then you're like, oh, I guess I'll take their offer, right? And with the Six of Cups, this speaks of either um, someone from the past coming in, like a blast from a past, or it speaks about um, someone that we have uh, soul connections with, like soul contracts. It doesn't have to be someone that we're related to or that you know we have a certain bond with, um, but our souls know who we have soul contracts with. So very, very beautiful energy. And you have a yes card here. So however this resonates to you, you know, whatever this offer is coming in, you know, um, I definitely think you're gonna, you're gonna say yes regarding this offer. So this concludes your weekly reading for September 30th through October 6th. Um, Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know how the energies pan out for this week. And until next time, take care.